So, welcome back everyone. Jose and Eric again doing another beer review. Shocking, right? Red's Rye IPA from Founders. Are we racing or what? EDD. I think I lost uh, too much head. Then I still have some beer. <laughs> Just gently pour it in. There we go. Let's yes. try it. All right, cheers. Hmm. It's smooth. It's not super hoppy like what I'm used to, but we just had a high lie. This is a rye, so it's not going to taste quite the same. No. This tastes almost like the Ruthless Rye. It's very similar to it, but I kind of want to say that Ruthless is a little bit more on the hoppier side. Yeah, it is. This seems like a, like a standard it's, rye. It, it does, yeah. It, it, there's nothing. It doesn't seem super special or anything really, you know, awesome, fantastical about it, you know. Um it's just a right, you know, it's, a, it's it's rye, you taste it, you know, it tastes a little bit of the spiciness, you taste a little bit of the um, IPA-ness of it, you know. Um, it's only 70 IBUs, by the way, so it's um, not quite up there, you know. You know, perhaps it's not trying to be the best IPA ever. And this is a 6.6, .6, so it's not it's really strong or anything like that, you know. I don't really get too much towards the end, it almost like it just goes away. I'd give it like a six or a seven. It's yeah. kind of, it is kind of bitter. It is kind of hoppy. It is kind of spicy. It's, but it's also somewhat bland. Um, it's a little light. It's not delicious. It doesn't have, you know. That kick, that. It doesn't know. have that one thing you know it yeah doesn't have seems like a mix a little bit of everything and it doesn't <laughs> and it's not there's not one thing that stands out that kind of right. saves it right even like now it's just it's still not really strong you know i would definitely prefer ruthless rye over yeah. this you know um to me it's very similar ruthless right to this yeah you know you, you kind of read my mind i was I was leaning towards a six, maybe a seven. Um, I'm kind of hesitant to go up to seven, so I'm, I'm leaning more towards six than seven. Mm -hmm. But it's not quite maybe a solid right. six, you know. Maybe but right. a six, a, yeah. If I'm being generous, a seven. But I kind of want to lean more towards six. Yeah, maybe you're right. A six. Um, maybe even a five. It's just it, it's it's borderline it's borderline bland. It's not full bodied. It doesn't offer that one particular thing that makes it like how you said stand out. It's just it's it's um I don't know. Uh, maybe this is supposed to be sessionable. I guess I don't know. Hey, and he's like, wait. Guess what? We got resin. Six point resin. It's um one of those beers that you just cannot get here in California. Because someone invented or figured out beer traits are possible, mm -hmm. we're able to get it. So, here we go. This is 12 ounces. It's um, kind of a bit of a really thin, narrow bottle. Like a but, Red Bull. Yeah, very, very Red Bullish, which I've never seen before. See? It's like thin. It has a tall. So this is um, 9.1 ABV, uh, 103 IBUs. So it's up there in bitterness, which is why I wanted to get this. I think bitterness. It, uh, top, top stupid. I think top stupid is 100. Really? Oh, that's right. You're right. It is. Mmm. Mm. That smells very crispy. My nose touched it. <laughs> Cheers. Cheers. Hmm. 
Uh, it's uh, it's really it's pretty crisp. Mm. See, I don't know what resin means. When you say it tastes resiny to me, I I mm. never understand that resin. I don't, you know, I don't know what that means. It's sort of like uh. That's like saying for like that tastes like shovel that tastes, to me, or you know, this is tastes just, furry. Yeah. yeah. Um, when you get that resin taste, I vape. You vape. <laughs> <laughs> No, I, all, right, all right, so what, what do you mean? Like yesterday when you rolled up that joint. Yeah. For me, resiny is, um, it's this sort of, it's kind of bitter, okay? And it, it's that it's part of that bitterness family, I guess you could say. But that bitterness is, um, it's not really crisp. It's almost like, a, I want to say like a stickiness to it, you know? Like dank. Like yeah, that. yeah, that's the same. Yeah, that's pretty much exactly what it is. It's dank. It's sort of it's the dankness of mm. it. I'm gonna say that's an eight. It's a solid eight. I think I'm gonna give it a nine. I like it a little better. Yeah. Yeah, cause uh, cause I break it down. So like I'll get like a sip, and not drink it. I'll you know swish it around with the front of my tongue, and it gives it like its own separate bite that I haven't had. I don't know if it's the carbonation. <laughs> But it, it has its own separate bite, which I think which could be the, um, why they call it resin. Well, for me, it's, it's really good. It's really good, but it's just, it's too similar to a lot of things. So, dismiss. So, um, anyways, um, so yeah, that's what I read. It's a solid eight. It could be a nine. Uh, maybe it's just the freshness. I don't know. Who knows? It could be a lot of different things. Uh, that's the only thing bad thing about these trades. Uh, you don't know how long these things have been sitting. So I like it. Enjoy that's your beers. It. If you do beer trades, would uh, would you now that we're done? Technically, we're officially beer traders. Would you do this again? Uh, yes, but flat rate. Flat rate. What whatever fits in a flat rate, the biggest yeah. flat rate box. Yes. Anything more than that doesn't make sense to me. Okay. Yes. Or it's true. not worth it. Yes. Very true. So there you go. Flat rate box. Screw the government. That's essentially <laughs> what you're saying, right? Yeah. Yeah, yeah there you go. All right. Until next time. See you later. This was actually bottled January 2013. January? Hmm. <laughs> Just kidding. This I was going to say, like, that's not... <laughs> Very cool. <laughs> oh man, yeah, you got me. I was gonna say, like, man, we got, we got messed up. <laughs> yeah.